My name is Dr. Mindy Pels, and um, I have been in practice for 25 years. Um, I started off as a traditional chiropractor, really treating uh, musculoskeletal conditions for the first 10 years of practice. And then I kind of noticed that people just weren't healing at the same rate they used to heal at. And so I started to dive in at understanding what was going on in our environment that was causing people uh, to A, have more symptoms, and B, to heal at a slower rate. The coolest thing about chiropractic is that there's this strong philosophy in it. And the philosophy is the body heals itself. And so everything we're taught in school, every class we're given has been taught through the lens of the body heals itself. And then there's a, like a, a, a next level of that, and it's, well, what slows down the body's ability to heal? And we call them interferences, and there are three major interferences, physical, emotional, and chemical. So I think what happens to a lot of us is we come out of the gates thinking that we're gonna look at the physical piece of it because chiropractic as an art is a physical, is like a physical adjustment. But once you're actually with a patient, week after week after week, you can't ignore the chemical and the mental anymore. And so you start to see that there are other interferences and it's way beyond the physical piece of this. So the chiros that I hang out with, the ones I've talked to, many of them either they do one of two things. They can stay in that lane of I'm just going to be this physical specialist or they move into functional medicine. But it's all under the, the idea that the body heals itself. So if it's not healing, what's interfering with it? Fast Like a Girl will be out in December and I'm really excited because it's the first manual, fasting manual for women with a big publisher where we are timing six different types of fasting to a woman's hormonal cycle. What I teach women how to do is time their fast, their fasting length and their food to their menstrual cycle. And the, it, that's the simple answer because the complicated answer is, well, how, everybody's menstrual cycle is different length. It has different times that estrogens, I mean, we, there's general times estrogen and progesterone and testosterone are coming in, but one woman can be low in estrogen, another woman's low in, in testosterone, another woman's low in progesterone. And so when I bring the tools of fasting to women, what I realized is that you're not, even in this moment, you, you're not dealing with a one size fits all um, situation. Every woman needs to know what her hormonal profile is. And once she knows that, now I can teach her the tools to use fasting, to use keto, to cycle in and out of keto and fasting according to her Dutch test. Once you have that hormonal information, then now you can dial in and you can really give specific lifestyle advice. So let's throw out some scenarios. Let's say that a woman is low in testosterone and maybe she, she's getting adrenal fatigue and she's low in, in cortisol. She's flatlining in that little graph on, that, on the first page and she's not making very much cortisol and she's not making enough testosterone and her DHEA is low, but she's maybe 38 years old and she has a, a proper amount of progesterone. Well, that's the woman I'm gonna sit down with and I'm be like, okay, we've gotta work on stress. We've gotta get the HPA axis back up to speed. We gotta get your DHEA levels up because if we don't, the next hormone to tank is going to be progesterone. So it's a lot of like discussion around what is transforming and then giving lifestyle tools. I have also done where um, in my chiropractic practice, I started to notice that a lot of women in their late 40s were having these chronic musculoskeletal pains and that just weren't going away. And when I went in and I did a Dutch test on them, I saw that their estrogen levels all good and bad were all really mostly good though were really really low and so estrogen helps a woman make collagen well here i am trying to fix their musculoskeletal problem but they don't have enough estrogen they're not making enough collagen my work is going to be less efficient so now i can come in and i can supplement with collagen and i can talk to her about bringing her estrogen up to the age appropriate levels so 
I mean, we, we talk Dutch all day long, like in every aspect. It's like, you know, some people want their like real ID. We just want your Dutch test and then we can customize what your treatment plan will be looking through the eyes of the Dutch test. I sat down with a woman who was wanting to lose weight and um, her, when I looked at her estrogen metabolites, um, 4-OH was really, really high. 2-OH was really, really low. And hers was like the highest 4-OH I'd ever seen. And so I sat with her and I was like, um, you've got a toxicity issue. We've got to detox you. Talk to me about your life and what you do. Well, it turns out that this woman um, ate out all the time and um, like four or five times a week at really bad restaurants. And so I said, can you eat inside? Like, let's get you back home eating good food. Let's just start there. And she said to me, um, well, it's, it's kind of a thing between my husband and I, like it's part of our relationship is to go out and we eat and we drink with friends. They were very social. She's like, so not eating out would be a really big impact to my marriage and you know, to my lifestyle. And it was like one of those times I just came in so strong with her and I said, if you don't get this number under control, your husband is not going to have a, a wife to go out and eat with. So let's bring 4-OH down, let's clean you up, let's get you detoxed, and then we'll retest you. And when 4-OH is back, your metabolites are back in balance, now we can go back out and eat at restaurants, we're just gonna do it differently. So she heard me, and it took us about two years, a year, maybe two years, to just clean her up, detox her, I mean, it was a big process. And when we went back and retested her, uh, I think it was about a year and a half, two years later, those metabolites were completely normal, specifically 4-OH. And I, I mean, literally, that's where I'm like, I, I think we saved that woman's life. Like that was, and, and, it, and without Dutch, I wouldn't have had that certainty. I would have maybe said, hey, you know, you might wanna not eat out as much. But instead I was like, no, like you need to stop this now or the end result is gonna be bad. Thank you.